In this video, I want to show you how we can add a watermark to a chart in Excel or PowerPoint as in the chart that you're seeing on the screen right now. We start in PowerPoint because we're going to create the watermark itself in PowerPoint and then save it as an image to use behind as the background of the chart. So here's an example here. This is a text box that I have created earlier which is just simply text that has been formatted into a medium gray and rotated 45 degrees. So it's very easy to create that. You just simply add a text box in PowerPoint, usually make it bigger, about 32 point. And we can write, let's say confidential in this case, and uh, make it bold. And what I tend to do is to choose not the dark black, which is the default color, but usually one of these medium to darker grays. And then the standard seems to be for watermarks is to rotate them 45 degrees counterclockwise. So the easy way to do that in PowerPoint is before you grab that rotation handle, hold the shift key down on your keyboard. And then as you rotate, it will move each time it jumps, you'll notice it moves 15 degrees. So three jumps you saw there is 45 degrees. And then what you do is you right click on that object and say save as picture. Now you're going to give it a name you can remember and put it in a folder you want and that's fine. The key is what file type are you going to use. The default is PNG. Now a PNG file has transparency, meaning when you put it in as the background of your chart in Excel, you're going to see whatever's underneath that chart. So it could be figures in cells, it could be the uh, grid lines, and that might be a little distracting. So often I suggest we use the JPEG format. The JPEG format is not transparent. It has a white background, so it will always have that solid background, as well as the watermark, for your chart. And so you just simply save it there. I've saved uh, it, the draft, already earlier. So once we've saved our image file, we can then go to Excel to apply it as the background of the chart. So I'm in Excel here, and I have my chart, and I select the chart. Now it's important you select the chart outline, the chart area, not any of the elements in the middle. And then I'm going to press Control-1 on my keyboard to bring up the Format Chart Area task pane. In the Fill and Line group, in the Fill section here, you'll notice the fill color is automatic. That's the default. What I'm going to select is Picture or Texture Fill. Now, that looks really awful, that texture, but don't worry, we can customize that. And that's what we're going to do next. Um, it's picking up the default texture, by the way. That's why it's doing it. So I'm going to click on the insert button here for picture source and then it says where do you want it so I'm going to say from a file. So when I click on from a file then I'm going to select the file from the file dialog box. So I've gone to my folder and I'm going to select my draft JPEG here that I've saved earlier and I'm going to click insert. And you'll notice what it does is it stretches it across. Now if that's the what you're looking for that's okay but another option you have is this checkbox here, Tile picture, picture as Texture. So I usually like to select that because what it does is it places it as tiles along the entire length and width of the chart. If you find that that text is a little too uh, bold, it's uh, really drawing attention away from the actual chart, you can change the transparency with the slider here or type in a transparency. Let's say I want to say 20% transparent it makes that watermark just a little more transparent, not quite as bold. We now have a chart that we can copy and we can paste into an email, paste into Teams or Slack, something like that, any other application, and that image cannot be changed. Note that if you do send this as an Excel file or as a PowerPoint file, the user has the ability to go and change the background. So you might want to be cautious about that. When you do get the figures finalized or the figures are now publicly available, you want to change the background again back to what it was before without the watermark. Simply go and exactly where we were. So I select the outside area. I press Control-1 to bring up the format chart area and simply change the radio button back to automatic. And that changes it back to the default chart that we had before. Now you can distribute it in any way that you need to do. So when you want to add a watermark to your... Uh, Excel or PowerPoint chart, create the watermark image, 
in PowerPoint, save it as an image, and then apply it as the background of your chart in Excel or PowerPoint. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.